Welcome to our PLC programming tutorial. In this video, we'll demonstrate the operation of delayed start-stop control using a quick PLC. We'll cover the basic start-stop sequence with on and off delays, handling overload conditions for a paint compressor, and overload conditions for a fan motor. Let's get started. Here's our setup. We have a quick PLC. So our quick PLC here, and this is our power supply. And the Click PLC controls a fan motor, which is simulated with this indicator light, and a paint compressor simulated by this indicator light. We use on and off delay timers to control the operation. This indicator light will indicate when the on delay timer is running, and this will indicate when the off delay timer is running. The fan motor starts immediately when we press the start button, and the paint compressor starts 30 seconds later. When we press the stop button, the paint compressor stops immediately and the fan motor continues to run for 15 seconds before stopping. Additionally, if there's an overload in either the paint compressor or the fan motor, the system responds accordingly. Let's start with the basic start stop sequence. When we press the start button, the fan motor starts immediately. The paint compressor starts 30 seconds later. When we press the stop button, the paint compressor stops immediately and the fan motor runs for an additional 15 seconds before stopping. This is the ladder logic. And when we press the start, it'll energize the system run. System run energizes. We'll start the on, on delay timer and a system run de-energizing We'll start the off delay timer. So we will now start the demonstration. We'll press the start button. You recall start button starts the fan immediately. And we now have our 30 second on delay that's counting down the 30 seconds before the pain compressor starts. You see now the paint compressor has started. Fan is running alongside it. Now we're gonna stop. If you see when we press the stop button, the paint compressor stopped immediately, started our off delay timer for 15 seconds, allowing the fan to run for 15 seconds before shutting down. Okay, so the fan has shut down. Next, we'll demonstrate what happens if there's an overload condition in the pain compressor. If the pain compressor overloads, it stops immediately, but the fan motor continues to run for 15 seconds. So if we get an overload, we get the contacts open here, de-energize system run coil, de-energizing the system run coil, we'll start the off delay timer Allow the fan to run for 15 seconds. So we'll do a normal start. If you recall, the fan will start immediately and there's a 30 second time delay to allow the paint compressor to start 30 seconds later. Once the paint compressor comes online, we're gonna simulate an overload of the paint compressor. So the paint compressor is now running. We will now use the limit switch to simulate the overload. If you see, the paint compressor stopped immediately and the fan is still running for 15 seconds while the off delay timer is counting down. We also have indication of an overload and the fan has shut down and eventually the overload clears or we reset it. Okay. 
Finally, let's see what happens if the fan motor experiences an overload. If the fan motor overloads, everything stops immediately to ensure safety. We did start it. We're on a 30 second time delay, waiting for the paint compressor to start after starting the fan. So here, if we get the fan fail here, it'll de-energize the, compre the, the compressor immediately, but we would have the countdown timer for the fan running for 15 seconds. To avoid that, what we do is we copy the set point value into the current value for the uh, off delay timer, which basically times out the off delay timer and it'll secure the fan right away. So we will simulate that now. So now we have the paint compressor running and the fan running and we will simulate the overload of the fan. If you see, we simulated the overload. We have our overload here and the paint compressor and the fan turned off immediately together. That's it for our demonstration on delayed start-stop control using Click PLC. We've covered the basic start-stop sequence with an on-off delays and how the system handles overload conditions for both the paint compressor and the fan motor. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more PLC programming tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.